up y'all so here we are filming this video for what you might think is the second time but it's actually the third time if you watch my last video you know that I put like a little excerpt in that said that you know I had already filmed this once and the file got corrupted by Final Cut Pro uh, which seems to be happening a lot lately um, and then I came up here today to film it again and didn't realize the camera stopped filming in the middle of it which is awesome so I had to go downstairs wash my face and come back up and do it again so here we are today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here so this look for me is kind of like a natural beauty kind of glowy skin like you're just naturally beautiful that's natural beauty right there like you know what I'm saying I do have like a no makeup makeup look even though this could possibly be a no makeup makeup for some of you guys um, but my no makeup makeup is like a legit no makeup makeup where it's more of me being on a time constraint and that's why I do the things I do which I will link that video down there if you guys want to watch that in case you are curious as to what my no makeup makeup looks like this is what i wear when i go to like appointments or to the grocery store and maybe i don't want to fucking look like i'm going to prom when i'm going to the grocery store which let's be honest nine times out of ten i do look like i'm going to prom when i'm going to grocery store because as i've told you guys before i like to dress up instead of dress down that's just who i am that's just who i be but dress and all oh, weekend i love you this is what i wear uh, when I don't feel like doing all that, but I do feel like, you know, spending some time on the old face, this is what's up. The basis for this video, um, or the idea of this video, came about when I received the Benefit Do the Hula. If you guys watch anybody on YouTube, Snapchats, you've probably seen a thousand people open a PR package with this, and then their like body bronzer and their hula bronzer and all that. However, y'all know. I always keep it real with you. I did not get sent this by Benefit. This is not sponsored by Benefit. This video is very Benefit heavy, um, but it's because, as y'all know, I work at Ulta and I did get early releases of this stuff because I got to eat for gratis. So the first thing is to do the hula. To be honest with you guys, I did not think I was gonna like this product because it is very orange in tone uh, when you squirt it out on your hand. Um, when I got this, I put it on my hand. I was like, oh, hell to so know that I'm gonna work on my pasty ass but then once I put it on I was like oh yeah okay it gives a very like bronzy kind of tannish look to your skin even if you're super pale because I'm an NC 15 and max so I'm like the whitest of the white uh, I know there are some of you out there who are like even paler than that but that's what I am and it works with me and then another reason why I like this is because it dries matte it is perfect for textured skin, for oily skin, for more mature skin. Most of the liquid bronzers that are on the market right now are like very shimmery and glowy because that is their intended use to make you look very bronzy and glowy. Because this one sets matte, it's not gonna emphasize anything that a shimmery bronzer would essentially, you know what I'm saying? So I actually really like this. The next thing that I got was just a baby of the Dandelion Shy Beam. The reason why I wanted to show you guys this is because I know a lot of people aren't going to be talking about it, and it's because it's not, this goes in line with like their High Beam and their Sun Beam, but unlike High Beam and Sun Beam that are very metallic, very reflective, kind of like what I got going on right here, um, this is very, very subtle. It's a very natural, subtle highlight, so it is perfect for mature skin if you are somebody that has like when you highlight your face you highlight the high points of your face so one of those being your cheekbones and if you are somebody that has fine lines or pores if you have crow's feet they tend to kind of creep down onto the tops of your cheekbones and putting a powder highlighter or like a very reflective highlighter onto those areas can like make you look about 20 years older than you actually are when you like smile or something like that and you know your crow's feet creep down it's just it ain't cute girl okay and it's also really good for oily skin for those of you who you know use like a metallic or a reflective highlighter and you're like I just look like a greasy mess and I can't do this this is for you it's very um, peachy pink in tone so even though I am very fair you can see that it blends out and it does 
give like a highlight against my fair skin because it is so pinky in tone. It's almost like their, what is it called? Their highbrow in like highlight form. So it's going to give you that highlight in which I demo it in the video and you guys will see. Um, it's going to give you that highlight without that like crazy ass reflectiveness. You know what I'm saying? So I do demo this in the video, but then I also pile some shit on top of it. If you do want some Amrezy highlight and you want to look like you're glowing for the gods, then I show that too. So anyways, that is what's up. Let's um, go on and do this. So let's just get into the tutorial. This is going to be, like I said, more for those of you with oily skin or texture in your skin. First thing I'm gonna do is take my NYX HD primer. This is not like a luminous primer, but it is a more hydrating primer, and I'm going to be putting this um, mainly around the exterior section of my face. And then I'm gonna be taking the Instant Miracle Worker by Philosophy and putting that down the center of my face. This is very mattifying, like very mattifying. I included this in my February favorites, which should be up after this video. Um, this stuff is bombs. I am in love with it. Does it, it's, it's called Instant Miracle Worker Line Erasing Blur Stick. It doesn't erase your lines, but it sure the hell keeps you matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these. As for my foundation, I'm going to be mixing CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-1 and the original L'Oreal True Match. This is matte foundation. This is, it's not a dewy foundation, but it's not like super matte either. Um, as you guys know, I'm super oily, so I can't do like a really luminous dewy foundation because nine times out of 10, those foundations are designed to like keep hydration into your skin. And I ain't trying to do that because I am in oil slick. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two and then apply it to my face. To blend that out, I'm just gonna use my Morphe M439. Once I get that all blended in, I basically just let it sit so it can kind of set on its own rather than setting it with powder. Because as you can see, it gives me kind of like a demi matte, uh, as they say, look. It's not super glowy, so it's not going to accentuate any of like my pores or texture, anything like that. But it is mattifying enough to where I'm not going to have like a lot of oil breakthrough throughout the day. So as I said in the beginning, this is kind of like what I do um, for a minimal makeup look. So basically for my brows, I really don't need to do much to my brows now because I just tinted them yesterday. If you've never tinted your brows, I definitely suggest you do because it saves a whole hell of a lot of time when you do just saying like, I barely got to put any powder in them to get them, you know, looking okay so i'm just going to take my bodyography powder and just kind of run that through my brows real quickly and just fill in any sparse areas rather than like you know busting out an instagram brow because i feel like you can tell the difference between like a cut instagram brow and a oh wow she's got some naturally banging ass brows Then to set my brows, this is like really super ghetto, so don't make fun of me, but I've actually been using the Benefit They Real Tinted Primer that is meant for your lashes on my brows. I was in like a super fast hurry one day and Tim was like downstairs, like, come on, hurry the fuck up. And I was like, I'm coming. And I'm like, where's my brow gel? I gotta set my brows. And this was just sitting in front of me. And I was like, ooh, let me just use this real quick cause it's dark brown and maybe it'll do the trick. And it freaking did and it did a damn good job doing the trick, might I add. So I'm basically just gonna run this through my brows, just like brow gel. That's, I mean, essentially that's what it is, like mascara. That's what brow gel is, mascara for your brows, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> All right, once that's done, I'm gonna move on to concealer. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know I used to use the NYX HD concealer in lavender because the concealers that I used like back in the day were not dark enough to highlight as much as I wanted to highlight, so I would mix them. Um, but the concealers that I have now, like concealers are coming out lighter and lighter, it seems like lately. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down because I want it to be very brightening. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin and I would use my um, It Cosmetics one, but because it's a thicker based concealer, it doesn't seem to mix very well with this. So I'm just gonna mix the two of these uh, down the center of my face because I want it very bright and highlighted. Like I wanna pull that forward a lot. 
which is why I'm mixing this. If you guys are really, really fair, I would definitely suggest grabbing this and trying to mix it with your highlighting concealer. If you feel like that it does not highlight you to your satisfaction. Just gonna use my beauty blender then to blend that out. So you see that just made the center of my face like super bright and pulled forward. And then I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and the only place I'm going to set is right here where I get really oily at. And then I'm gonna set the center where I get oily in the center of my forehead and then down here on my chin. And that's it because I want to keep the outer perimeter of my face very like glowy and dewy. So I already put concealer on my eyes before the video, so I'm gonna take the Secret Brightening Powder again and I'm just going to set that. So whenever I do a makeup look like this, um, like on the more natural side, I'll just grab whatever bronzer is closest to me being today my Smashbox Warm Matte Bronzer and I just grab a random fluffy brush. This is Soft Dome, um, Soft Dome brush by Makeup Geek and I basically just kind of fluff that into my crease. So I basically just take that and just run it through my crease. You honestly don't have to do this if you don't have hooded eyes, but because I have hooded eyes, I've gotta put something in my crease or my eyes can look really droopy. After I'm done with that, I'll just take another random like flat brush. This one is just a random No Name Morphe brush and I'll just take like my face powder and just kind of brighten that inner corner up a little bit. So this next step you don't have to do either, but I always have to tight line my eyes just because my lashes are more on the blonde side. And if I don't tight line them, like if I don't get close enough to like the base of my lashes with my mascara, if I don't tight line them, it just looks real weird and there's like skin chunks coming out and it just looks off. So I'm just gonna take my NYX uh, Trey Jolie liner and use that to toilet line. So then I'm just gonna grab my NYX Wonder Pencil in the color light and use that in my waterline so that way my eyes are really bright and open. Sometimes I use white. Sometimes I'll use like a nude. Uh, today I'm feeling nude because I can't find a white one, so that's what's up. After I'm done doing that, I will grab my Makeup Geek pencil brush, which more times than not usually has product in it, and I'll just take like whatever's in the brush and kind of run it through my lashes. The reason why I do this is because sometimes the liner will like get into my lashes, like the nude liner, and then sometimes the mascara won't necessarily cover that, and then there's like weird you know, like nude or like white chunks in your lashes. So I try to take a brush and kind of, you know, blend that out a little bit so that way it's easier to cover once we throw our mascara in there. Next thing I do is curl my lashes. Sometimes I get lucky and there's gunk left over in my eyelash curler and it automatically lines the top of my lid for me. It's, that's just real life, girls and guys. Sometimes I get lucky and that happens. That's real nice when that happens because then you don't have to do it yourself. <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? Yeah. For mascara, I'm gonna take my tinted primer again. The reason why I like using this is because, just like my no makeup makeup, when I have minimal makeup on, I don't like my lashes to be like crazy black and spidery and like all over the place because it just looks like you tried too hard. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like it does. But with this, when you wear this, because it's brown and it's like a dark brown, it's not as bold, so it's just like, you did something, but you didn't put that much effort in because you didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Just like I said in the beginning, just natural, natural beauty up in this piece. Natural beauty. So, put this on my lashes. See what I'm saying? It's like, maybe you did something, maybe you didn't. People don't know. People don't know that, especially guys. Guys don't know that. Guys are like, oh, I like that natural look like Kim Kardashian. No, bitch, no, that's so natural. So that's why I like this, because you did a little something, something, maybe. Some people can tell you did a little something. Some people may not be able to tell you did a little something. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now for the star in the show, so to speak. This is the Benefit Do The Hula. Like I said earlier, it is a liquid um, matte bronzer. And I'll be honest, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, hell to the no, that is not gonna work for me because it looks like this. Like, if you look at this and look at my skin, you're like, no, mm -mm. that's orange. 
that is going to be too orange for your pasty ass but i promise you guys it works just watch and see so the way that i like to apply it is by using a cheek highlighter brush by makeup geek because it's a stippling brush i found that when i use like a dense kabuki brush like the morphe one i just used it tends to kind of take my foundation away so i like to use this and kind of stipple it on so that way it's not like pulling off foundation as i'm buffing do you catch my drip so i'm just gonna pull it off the back of my hands and go ahead and stipple it all up over my face And I'm not gonna necessarily contour with this, by the way, I'm just bronzing. So I'm basically just putting it on the perimeter of my face, down my nose, all the places that the sun would like naturally hit. Sometimes I'll put it up here, down here. I just kind of put it everywhere. And once I get the product actually like placed where I want it, I then take my brush and wipe it off on a towel and try to get as much product off of the brush as I can. And then I take the brush with minimal product on it and just kind of use that to blend it out real quick. So you see how it just gives you this like really like bronzy, maybe I got a little bit of a tan for once in my life. Maybe I'm a little bit darker than off-white for once. And it's not like accentuating any kind of pores or texture or anything on my skin that I have because it is setting matte so it gives you a glow because it's a cream product but since it's setting matte it's not going to accentuate any type of imperfections that you have on your face and that's why i like it next up i'm going to take the benefit shy beam as i said earlier this is perfect for the exact same reason those of you who have oily skin textured skin anything like that i'm going to take this on my finger and just dot it at the tops of my cheekbones And you see, even though I'm fair, it's still giving me like a really super, super subtle highlight. So like I said earlier, it's for those of you that don't want to look like you actually put highlight on. It just makes it look like you're naturally glowing from within. Do you know what I'm saying? And then I will just take it on the brush here and dab just a little titty bit, a little titty bit under my eyebrows here and blend that out on my finger. So this is the part of the look for those of you who just want a very, really subtle, natural glow. Like you just want your skin to look healthy and glowy. You don't want to look like you tried. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to look like you put eight pounds of highlighter on your face. However, the next segment is for those of you who do want to look like you put eight pounds of highlighter on your face and you want to be able to see that highlight from space. That's what we're doing right now. So for blush, I'm going to use my Too Faced Love Flush blush and I will always love you. The struggle is so real getting these MFers open when you have nails. Oh, look at that. It came right open. Hey, that's a first. So I'm just going to take my It Cosmetics um, little blush brush and this has kind of a glow to it too. So I'm just going to take that and pounce it on top of that highlight and bronzer and because the benefit bronzer sets matte your blush that you put on top of it isn't going to like cling to it because it's not because it sets matte and it sets dry you know what i'm saying so it's not going to be like your blush isn't going to look real chunky i guess is what i'm trying to say so for that extra little who am i kidding not little a lot of do i'm going to take this little baby right here which has been legit my favorite thing of life as of late this is the elf uh shimmering facial whip in the color lilac petal they have like two different colors the other color is like a lot darker than this so if you're fair you might want to use this one um, it does have like a pink tone to it, but I will show you it'll all come together. I swear This is literally the most metallic Reflective highlight I have ever come across in my life in my life and I freaking loves it So I'm just gonna grab my stippling brush again and pull that off my hand and just start stippling that on the tops of my cheekbones And up in here. Do you see that? Do you see that? I'm gonna take a little bit, a little titty tit tit bit of my nose, up on my cupid's bow. And this I can basically put everywhere because it's cream and it doesn't, I feel like powders kind of sit on top of the skin and that is where you have that emphasis on texture or pores or fine lines or anything like that. Whereas cream kind of melds into the skin 
and it doesn't seem to accentuate that as much and this one is amazing. I always find with cream highlighters that it's just like not enough like you want that like crazy ass like amrezy glow and you just can't seem to get it with creams but when you put powders on top it just gets a little crazy so when i put this down first it seems to just like make the powder that i put on top of it like melt in so much better and i'll forget it. i also like to put that um elf stuff on my lips too see how i got a little bit on my lips that will actually like come through i'm gonna put a little bit more That'll actually like pop through the gloss when we put the gloss on. So as for my powder highlighters, you can stop right here too because this is, you know, a little bit on the natural side. This is like medium natural. Like the first one was natural. This is like medium natural. Now we're going to get fucking crazy with the highlighter. So I'm going to take um, the Shimmering Skin Perfector. Yes, that's what it's called. And Pearl and Champagne Pop. I have seen... Um, Jeffree Star on his Snapchat and on his YouTube channel like mixing these two and he had he's like an NC 15 and Mac so he's like the same skin tone as I am and it looks amazing on him so I have been doing that lately and oh my god it's he's right it's perfection the man is a genius so I'm just gonna take my Sigma E40 that I can't stand for my eyes but works really well for my highlighter and I'm gonna go into champagne pop first and I'm gonna pop that champagne pop pop it on <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to take the champagne pop first and I'm going to pop that right on top of my cheekbones. So as you can see, the champagne pop is like quite a bit too dark for my skin tone um, because it is like, you know, a darker like peachy color and I am a pasty person and this color and pasty people don't really get along. So we're going to call a friend and that friend's going to be Pearl. So I'm going to grab Pearl on the same brush and just put it right at the tipsy tops of the cheekbones. Do you see that? Do you see that? And then on the tipsy tops of this cheekbone too. Right there, right there, right there. And then right on the nose and on the cupid's bow. Right there. I usually just like to put Pearl on the cupid's bow. And then I will take the Pearl on like the middle of the brush and I will stick it right in that inner corner there to brighten that up too because we're just getting crazy with highlighter and any girls we're getting crazy on that all right almost done then for lips I'm just gonna grab this shiny sheer lip gloss by Ulta in the color coral basically what these are are just like really sheer lip glosses they really don't even come out as a color on your lips they're just kind of glittery and shimmery and I think everybody has forgotten like how banging your lips look with lip gloss like because everybody's all about that matte life lately which not gonna lie I am too but lip gloss just like makes your lips like juicy and like hello lip injections you know what I'm saying hey how are you welcome to the party <laughs> All right, so that is basically what I do to get a glowy, natural, natural beauty. I just naturally look like this maybe look and that's what's up so that is that hopefully it's the last time i'm gonna film this m ever so thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe if you are not oh bt dubs i will link in the click down um if the benefit stuff is out yet or if it is not so anyways that is what's up thank you for watching like and subscribe if you are not follow me on instagram twitter snapchat if you please and i will catch you guys on the next one peace